Hello there, it's Tuesday morning and this is Off the Press, newspaper review program as you do know. This is where we look at the national dailies and try to make sense of it. And with me to dissect it this morning are two gentlemen, Tubosu uh, Keju, uh, who is a reputation manager, and of course Dr. Femi Adegoke, who is a political analyst. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks and for good to have you all this morning. So we have a couple of papers here. Again, the Nigerian story, so many things to talk about, but we shall begin with the Punch newspaper and the top of the Punch newspaper is coronavirus oil falls below $60 per barrel. OPEC plans deeper cuts on page 27. It will be displayed on your screen shortly. Community policing confusion in commands over IG's directive on page two of the Punch newspaper. That's where you find that story. Now, this goes to reflect 7.5 VAT uh, increment on transactions beginning on February the 1st. That story is already, uh, the, the newspaper rather, is already displayed on your screen. And that story you find is on page 27 of the Punch newspaper, which we are reviewing. And those against Amotekun are against are agents of criminals. That's according to Ghani Adams on page 17 of the Punch newspaper. Now, out, outrage as RMAFC says politicians' pay may go up on page 22. Court politicians' pay, uh, NECA tells commission, it is anti masses illegal, according to Serap. It's wicked and unacceptable, CDNDC says. Move disappointing, declares Yaga. Uh, that's the big story for Punch, and it is on page 28. Now we have the picture story also of the sentences, sentencing rather of Mariam Sander to death for killing her husband. You can see the picture story uh, that was from the court yesterday. She's been taken away and all that. So, and then Lagos bans Okada and Marwa in Ikeja, Surulere and 30, 13 other local government areas. That's on page six. That's a... Uh, Motorcycles and tricycles, isn't it? Keke and Marwa, Keke and Okada, as we call them here. And a grieving husband blames Luth for wife's death. Uh, Bauchi man nabbed for stabbing girlfriend to death. That's on pages four and five of the Punch newspaper. And finally, Bello inaugurated as Kogi governor for second term on page 19. Where do we begin? Shall I begin with you, Tubasu? Um, yes, uh, quickly talk about um, the coronavirus. Mm -hmm an effect on um, oil, price. oil prices. Um, I mean, more importantly for us is that this virus, necessary precaution has to be taken to ensure that we don't have this epidemic in the country. Um, we have very porous borders. And so even if we don't have any case right in the country, mm. I think that all the health um, institution has to be on red alert to constantly start to check people for it and all of that. Um, I've seen pictures um, to show that in at the airports they're already you know checking people mm -hmm. and all of that. Um, but you know we have to ensure that we are ready, you know, to uh, quickly treat this issue before we even have an index mm -hmm. case because it's already in. Um, um, I think Ivory Coast, mm -hmm. uh, which is very close to us, uh, it's affecting the oil prices because of the travel bans, the restrictions on travel that is going to come from this because of how fast this is spreading. Yeah, I you mean, know, it's 106 uh, people already yeah, killed us today. across the world. It's a very, very, uh, it's an RNA virus. And mm. RNA viruses are usually very, very deadly. Ebola is an RNA virus. They are very deadly and they are more difficult to tackle. And they move um, than, fast. Yeah, and they move very, very fast. So um, I, I just think everybody <laughs> also has to be on red alert, you know, tick personal hygiene, mm. very, very important at this time, mm. yeah. And without being sounding segregative, you know, we also have a big Chinese community yeah, very in, you know, in, in this part yeah, of Nigeria, very, very so it's something to also look at. Good. Yes, very, mm. very, very, very big one. All right, Dr. Femi, what's your well, intervention? Yeah, on the... Whether Corona or not, you know. No, on the... On and meanwhile, the, this school called Corona Schools, I think I, I they'll, be, they'll I be slighted by yeah, now. Unfortunately. <laughs> unfortunate, uh, yeah, really. very unfortunate. Mm -hmm. But the truth is that, like he said, we need to be on top of our game. We need to be proactive. We shouldn't wait until we have a case in the country mm. before we move. And like he mentioned, it shouldn't just be at the airport alone. Sure. Like we have so much porous bodies. We, in, there was a report sea sometimes. Ports, there yeah, there's, there was a report from. sometimes there are about a thousand walking borders in Nigeria, Nigeria. across the country. Mm. So I think the necessary authorities need to be proactive. 
we don't have to wait till mm -hmm. he gets here. Yeah. All right, let's move away from coronavirus to something else. Okay. Well, uh, the the so uh, Nigerian police, him? the police confusion mm -hmm. with the IG directive, mm -hmm. it's really appalling and for me it's disheartening. In a country where we have security problem, and then the IG gives an instruction. Some states commands are saying they've not gotten. Some have gotten, have already started work. So some are saying they've gotten, but they don't even have the direction where they're supposed to go. So it tells you how our security outfit has broken down. And I will link that with what the Senate president is saying. Mm. That the central security system, as for me, is being political about his, his statement saying is not efficient. I think it has failed, on my own opinion. Our central uh, security system, the army, the police, everything has not worked. Because in the last four and a half years that this government has come, on the back of security, anti-corruption, which these arm of government play a very critical role. They have not recorded any gain. Mm. Not much. I'm not saying they're not, they're winning, in, but it's trickle. Trickle wins. We need to feel the impact. The people, uh, in, this morning I just read again that in Josh Plateau, 13 people were killed again. That's right. That's right. And those are the ones we get in the news. There's so much going on around. Yeah, I need case. So they need to be proper dissemination of uh, information mm -hmm. by the Nigerian police. All they right. need to be structured. I agree with the Senate President. All right. Tubaso, do you want to continue mm -hmm. with that? Or uh, we'll I think take a we look at just, something we can else? look at the next paper. Okay. All right. Uh, well, before we look at the next paper, I'm sure you all saw the story of the sentencing of uh, Mariam. Yes. Sander. Uh, I mean, domestic violence is important to you know, say that domestic violence is on both sides. Um, while we seem to have more cases where women are the victim, it's sad, you know, uh, what has happened here because someone has lost his life, I think about a year or two ago. Two years. Um, what, are, we're not, what I think it's also the issue is the, the mm -hmm. sentencing to death. I think we need to change that in our laws and but not replace with life imprisonment. Does it apply? I mean, we, we've seen cases like that, but they end up just being, uh, yeah. they end up as life sentence. sentences. So maybe yeah. it's to actually call it, maybe that's yeah, what it is. I think, I think that's where it's becoming. Mm, um, I believe it's Kenya that's, yes, Kenya that did that. So they have, um, in, in, they say it's, you know, somebody is sentenced to death, but in practice, the person has spent the uh, their whole life yeah. in jail. So most likely that will be the lot of uh, Sanda, unfortunately, exactly. there. Yes, please. I want to say something Almost about... Almost like a child yeah. today in school. Yes, <laughs> yeah, I want ahead. to just add something to that on the domestic violence. Okay. Well, you see, it, it's become death, then we're talking about the punishment and all that. But I think this is to the people. If you're in a relationship and you can see any bit of violence, you should report it. Don't stay in it. It doesn't become dead in one day. Yeah. It's a gradual process. Mm. And there's a lot of people who have uh, mental issues that because of our crime, we don't want to deal with it. There's a lot of people suffering from depression. And I know Lagos State has um, a unit where you can report such and get help. Mm -hmm. So I think okay. we need to preach more, we need to speak more on that. Mm -hmm. A lot of people that need help need to get help. Yeah. Yeah. And violence is both sides. Yes, yeah, it's both sides, not just man and woman. Yeah. Anyone, all right. So we'll move in the interest of time to the nation newspaper. It will be displayed. And Lagos bans Okada tricycle in 15 councils. Uh, government plans other means. That's on page six. It will be displayed. Confusion in Oyo as sacked chairman return. Guns boom in local government on page 43. It's already displayed there on your screens. Thank you. More states confirm spread of Lassa fever. NMA blames poor funding. And that story is also on page 8 of the Nation newspaper. Protesters with banners showing images of some plateau indigents during the protest. Yeah, um, this guy was actually in the news almost the same time when Andimi, uh, the chairman of the, the Khan chairman, Michika, was yeah. killed. He was, but somehow we didn't get uh, so much about him. So there's a protest. And Senate security system can't tackle terrorism and killings. Law and six rejig of structure, 15 killed in plateau. Uh, governor, I was short at. Now, uh, the, punch news, the Punch newspaper says it's 13, but you know, the nation says it's 15. So, but around that figure. Uh, Karedolu and Uyatela 
FIME defend Operation Amnotaiko, no religious bias, says Oshun Governor. Undo Governor, recruitment so no plan to secede, says Ekite Governor. That's on the front page. But it's continued on page 7. And then coronavirus check in Lagos. We can see a picture story, passenger being screened uh, for the virus at Murtala Mohammed International Airport. Hopefully, uh, we will do more than just screening and be ready. Tambo leads PDP governors and woman sentenced to death for killing her husband. That's on page 8 and page 5 of the Nation newspaper. Where do we begin? Let's talk about this Lagos ban on Okada and Keke, as we call them. Okay. <laughs> so. <laughs> okay. So, Boston, go ahead. First of all, um, we've, it's, it's a clear situation of, you know, inefficient transportation system in Lagos. And when there's a problem, you always quickly find a solution. And because of the kind of traffic gridlock that we have in Lagos, we usually resort to, you know, this two-wheeled um, or three-wheeled mm -hmm. um, um, uh, motorized vehicle. And this particular ban, I mean, it's funny because we already have it in law that there are places where you can have these bikes. Mm -hmm. And somehow, we just found out that they started to come into place. And, um, I saw one on the third mainland bridge. Once. Their businesses saw opportunities in it and then they built around it. And now government has come back to say, oh, we're, you know, we're banning this thing. It's not completely new. I think it's even more of an enforcement. It's a sad situation because while this ban is necessary, because people's lifestyle have been built around using this thing, government mm -hmm. also needs to put enough things in place to ensure that, you know, uh, the hardship is not really felt. So, I mean, from my own point of view, not to belabor the issue, yeah, you have to ban those Okada because they are very unruly. You don't want them on some parts mm -hmm. of town. But at the same time... And accidents also. Yes. They are, I mean, they, they, they've talked about the accident rates and all of that. Very worthy of them. But what's going to happen? We need more efficient transportation system in mm -hmm. Lagos. Lagos is a mega city. Do you understand? Something has to be done about how we move around in this city or else, you know, you've just banned Okada. The, the risk of banning them is so much. You know, you can have increase in traffic, you can have increase in crime because those who are employed, you know, um, you will, will have to resort to something to leave. Mm -hmm. you know? So I think beyond just banning, Government also has to look at, you know, the ripple effect of what happens. So in some of those areas where you've banned, do you want to create opportunities for shuttles, mm -hmm. you know, small buses or cabs like you have in other parts of Nigeria? We don't really have cabs in Lagos, you know, but there are places where you have those cabs. The place where we have all those small, small, smaller buses and maybe mm -hmm. very big estates and all of that, you know. So they need to consider that so that people can move. And then the issue of traffic, you see, the problem of traffic in Lagos sometimes you just need sometimes something very small. You need it's to do something, something very something small. Something very small. So a small it's portal usually. can be the reason you're having, yeah. you know, traffic. Uh, so, I mean, I was discussing with, you know, some tech guys last week and they were like, if there was enough insights for the Lekki Koyi Bridge, you would have seen that there was an efficiency problem way before now. So because mm. you're not paying anymore on Lekki Koyi Bridge, the traffic has tremendously reduced. Yeah. Even if you have to go to the office to buy a ticket before going on the bridge, yeah. the travel time is still not up to what we used to experience. Mm -hmm. like, so what was happening was that when you pass through the bridge, it takes maybe about maybe about seven to ten seconds to pass through the toll gate if you're paying cash and you're collecting your change and moving. You know, but right now it has reduced to almost three seconds. And mm -hmm. you can see the significance of that reduction in everybody's travel time on traffic. You know, so I think that government needs to go very granular on and look at all the things that are causing traffic, mm -hmm. you know, and find a way to the, see if there is no if there's no problem. Problem, there is no opportunity. Mm -hmm. So there was a problem of traffic. That's where they, the they, they, we have an Okada and tricycle okay. opportunity. Okay. So okay. if you ban the, the, the solution to a problem that exists, people are going to find a way or we're going to have a big problem on our hands. So mm. I think while banning them is a step in the right direction, I think government really, really needs to look at, you know... What are the, what's the alternative? Yes, we need to drill, you know, very, very much um, to, to, to the granular part of the problem. I completely agree with you. Yeah. What is the yeah, I just want to lend my voice to that on the Okada ban, I'm mm. all for them. It's not even ban, like you said. It's an enforcement, enforcement. of an existing law. Where we saw when you neglect enforcement, we have seen what it could bring. After Fashola left, we saw what happened. Mm -hmm. Because during Fashola's time, they were able to curtail the Okada menace to a very large extent. But the moment you abandon those rules and regulations, everybody took advantage. But now, they've been banned 
and stopped in 15 local authorities or local government. But the challenge I have with those local government is there are no internal transportation. For example, like Within in Sudan. Yeah. So it's like you said, there's an opportunity. But the but there for me is where you're pushing them to, because it seems they are being pushed to the interlands now. Mm -hmm. They are going there to go and cause another menace if the government does not put in proper structures to monitor and manage them. Mm -hmm. All right, so hope the, the, we are all listening and uh, there's need to take proper action here. So let's move away from that and go to Lhasa. Now, um, while we're talking about coronavirus, we have um, Lhasa issue. We have Lhasa, we have Lhasa issue to yeah, contend with. with, and then you know there are, it's spreading to more states. And as at yesterday, yes, there was a confirmation of yet another death. How do we deal with? What are we not getting right? Because every year, um, this yeah, this happens saying. every year. Lhasa is a town in Borno, so it's endemic actually. So why are we not? Why do we not know what to do before time? I, I've said it here before. Um, we are always reactive in this part of the world. We're not proactive. Like I said, I think it was last week, we've had Lassa fever recurrent mm -hmm. in the last and at three, particular four time of the yeah, year. We from even November, know. December, January, February. Mm -hmm. It's been recurring for the past three years. And it, for me, basically, Lassa fever is a sanitation problem. We eat Nigeria is a country with the highest open defecation. Wow. And we have not done anything about it. We are going to have this outbreak of epidemics over time. Yes, so, what we need to do, we know, but we're not doing it. I just have one question. Mm -hmm. What is our disaster response system or protocol? Yeah. Good. What, like, do you understand? How do we react? What are the steps that need to be mm. taken? Until when it maybe it's Lhasa, life. maybe it's coronavirus. What is a disaster response system. There's, there's, there's been this message, I don't know if any of you have received it about, oh, don't say something about Suya, don't buy. Yeah, yeah, I, I, yeah I've seen it. I, I've seen I, I can't it. even remember the thing, but that's not enough, you know. Yeah. Don't put your gari and your yeah, sugar that, or whatever on that's the floor yeah, because, yeah, because but that's not, it's, it's not enough because no, we not. still see, it's the same people will still send the same message and we still hear people dying. It, and it's not enough, but of really, it's because and it's rodents. advising people on the way to go. People are now helping themselves. But what I'm saying, in essence, what mm. we're saying is that, look, we need to have systems in place mm -hmm. that we mitigate against such occurrence uh, again. Yeah, yeah. All right, uh, we'll move on to Vanguard newspaper. And it says, as uh, um, visa ban will affect vulnerable Nigerians, according to Lai Mohammed on page eight, it will be displayed. And the state of Nigeria's electricity sector worsens, according to an investigation on page 36. Autumn narrowly escapes death in herdsmen attack on page 11. Mm -hmm. And then LASG goes top, bans Okada tricycle. We've already talked about that. Our central security system uh, has failed, according to Senate President and then says urgent restructuring of security architecture required, among others. Nigeria set, setting up facilities to diagnose coronavirus. That's good on page 26. And the wife of ex-PDP chairman Mariam Centers to death. We already talked about that. And Southwest has no plan to secede from Nigeria, according to Fire Me on page 11. And tension as gunmen kill 15 in the two uh, villages on page 6. And revolution now. Jalingo in detention for plotting to overthrow Buhari, according to Ben Ayadi, and um, that's on page 12. Uh, I'm, I'm afraid we don't have so much time, but yes, you can go So ahead. I just want to talk about the state of electricity sector. Mm -hmm. um, By the way, there's going to be an upward review. So there is, I think that we need, it's a complex problem that, but that has to be solved, and I think everybody needs to really mm -hmm. understand it. There's a liquidity problem. but. Beyond that liquidity problem, there is a major ATC and C losses, which is mm. the amount of power that is lost from generation, generation to, to when it gets to when it gets to the user. Fifty percent is a lot, mm. you know. So if there's a liquidity issue, you don't have a, you, you don't have enough blood, but you are bleeding. Hmm. Do you no, understand? Debt debt is eminent, you mm. know. And you know you have a lot of companies that are trying to do a lot of things, but I think everybody needs to come together. So you have the map. The bitter asset providers, you know, Mojek mm -hmm. and, and all the likes, trying to use very smart ways and innovative methods to get the uh, country metered. Mm -hmm. But you also have the discos who have liquidity problem. You have discos even returning power to the Jenkos because they can't pay. Mm -hmm. So I think we, the, the, we. The, we all need to properly understand that industry and, you know, together work, you know, to find, 
you know, a lasting solution to power problem because it is at the center of our economic problem. I'm just going country. to say thank you. <laughs> Fortunately, this is where we are going to wrap this. Oh, we can say thank you, Femi. Thank you uh, to Bosu. And here we call it a wrap for today. We'll do this again tomorrow at the same time here on Plus TV Africa. I am Mamaka Okui. Have yourselves a great day.